very close eye on roadways across central Texas tonight as temperatures continue to fall. Here's a look outside of our extra coat eagle eye of our News Channel 25 studio studios. We're seeing several accidents across central Texas because of these icy conditions. We'll tell you what you need to know before you even head out the door for your New Year's Eve celebrations. It's been a cold and very icy day across central Texas. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Taylor Durden alongside Chief Meteorologist Matt Hines. Now we want to start off tonight showing this accident that's behind us. You can see right over my shoulder. Yeah, that's this a, happened about an hour and a half ago. Yeah, and this is a jackknifed 18-wheeler. Right yeah, right there. Um, and so that shut down the flyovers at Loop 340 and I-35. And look, look how slow the cars are going along here. Just basically going less than five miles per hour right now. So we do have ice forming all across central Texas. We're getting numerous reports of ice on bridges and overpasses. Some right. have been shut down. Right. 340 and I-35. 340 and I-35. And as the time goes on and it gets darker, it's going to get worse, right? That's right. It will. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we are tracking right now. A winter weather advisory has been issued at least until 9 o'clock. It could go beyond that. It does include Waco, Temple, Colleen, Gatesville, Lampasa, San Saba, back through Cameron, and it could be expanded beyond this. So just because you're not in the advisory right now doesn't mean you should be uh, just driving at normal speeds because we are going to see this maybe expand here over the next couple of hours. We've had reports of accidents in Bosque County over the past 45 minutes from emergency managers there. Numerous accidents now in McLennan and Bell counties because of that, mainly on those high bridges and overpasses. Now, the winter weather radar doesn't look overly ominous. The moisture that's falling from the sky is basically falling from a very low level. So a lot of the radar beam is shooting over the top of this. But we are picking up on some of that freezing drizzle and flurry activity as it continues to move across. It looks like another band is about to move out of Hill County, Bosque County, and make its way into McLennan County, and a pretty good band here across the 190 corridor from Colleen through Temple and moving down into Milam County as well. So. We don't have to worry about wet roads tonight. We have to worry about icy roads. So let's look at this. Between 29 and 32 at your location, bridges and overpasses could become icy and patchy ice on roads. From Waco Temple, Colleen, off toward the northwest, this is where we have under 29 degrees. And once you get below 29 degrees, especially after sunset, all roads are capable of forming ice and that's why we will be tracking this very closely. Meteorologist Jeff Borgeron is out and about. He's been watching the road conditions tonight. You can see a very active scene behind him. Jeff, tell us what's going on. Well, Matt, we're just now starting to see that light freezing rain switching over to snow, light snow. So we're seeing some flurries out here and you're right. It is definitely a cold evening out here. The good news is we're standing right next to I-35 and the Highway 6 overpass. So the connection is seeing some icy conditions. They have shut down that connection. And the reason being is our overpasses and bridges see that cold air get under them, and that's what cools them down more efficiently than the roadways. We're not seeing the ice on the roadways as of now. Maybe a little bit of patchy ice here and there, but temperatures are falling quickly. We're dealing with that strong north wind that could eventually start to dry us out a little bit. But right now what it's doing is it's pushing the cold air in. So tonight temperatures will continue to fall. We're already in the 20s across much of the region. 29 degrees is where we start to see the ice start to accumulate on roadways and bridges. Again, right now overpasses and bridges are really the only thing that we're starting to see the ice accumulate on. But that could be going downhill tonight. And as long as this drizzle and mix over to flurries is falling, we're going to see more in the way of ice accumulations occurring out here. So we're going to be tracking the conditions throughout the night tonight. The good news is, is we're not seeing big issues on our major highways and freeways. But if you can avoid the highways and freeways tonight, I would definitely do so. This is the coldest weather that we've experienced so far, and it is only going to get colder tonight. So again, we'll be tracking the conditions tonight, and we'll keep you updated throughout the night and into tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Waco, Jeff Forger on Central Texas News Now. All right, thank you, Jeff, for that. And again, once you're under 29 degrees, which it is, from Waco Temple Clean off to the northwest, we can get patchy ice to form on all road surfaces. So you may be going along tonight and then all of a sudden come on to some black ice. If you can stay home, listen to Jeff, listen to us, it's probably best to do it. I know a lot of folks have plans tonight. It's New Year's Eve. But, folks, we need to keep you safe. And we do have a winter weather advisory in effect.
All right, thank you, Matt. You know, it, we don't see this type of weather very often. So Central Texas News Now, we did a lot of driving today for you looking for those trouble spots on area roads. Our Seth Kovar joins us now live at I-35 Highway 6 interchange in Waco. Now, Seth, those overpasses are now shut down. Yeah, and for good reason, too. A semi hit the side of the bridge and knocked the guardrail onto the access road below about an hour ago. Quite the thud there, too. Parts of the truck also fell to the median next to the guardrail there. And shortly after, Waco police closed both the flyovers, one from northbound Interstate 35 to northbound Highway 6 and from southbound Highway 6 to northbound I-35. Now, we took one of those flyovers shortly before police closed them, and we watched a pickup truck right in front of us, fishtail, thankfully not wrecking. We didn't come across any ice on the roads themselves today, just those bridges and overpasses, but that may change as conditions get worse out here. It's something some travelers we talked to are concerned about on their trip to Fort Worth. We've been watching the, the temperature gauge just gradually go down, down, and down. 41 degrees down to 29, I think is what my truck said. It's gotten colder and more icier as we've been going. Those folks are headed up north, like I mentioned, where they'll likely find even more ice. If you look behind me, you can kind of see the truck up there that caused these flyovers to shut down. It's not clear when Waco police are going to be able to reopen the flyovers, if they're waiting for Mother Nature, if they're waiting for the temperature to warm up. The First Alert weather team will tell you that that's going to be a while. And this certainly isn't the only trouble spot out there, so do be careful if you have to drive somewhere on New Year's Eve. And if you don't have to drive, just don't do it. Reporting live in Waco, Seth Kovar, Central Texas News Now. Seth, thank you so much. And he's right. Waco police officers have responded to at least a dozen calls, if not more, just within the last hour. They're offering some advice if you have to drive at all on the icy roads tonight. Make sure you drive slow if you have to get out and drive at all. And leave a distance of 8 to 10 seconds between yourself and the car in front of you. Make sure you do not stop abruptly if you can avoid it. And don't power up any hills because those hills will ice over just like the bridges. The Bosque in the area of Highway 6 will probably be an issue. So avoid that if you can. And Hewitt police just posted a few minutes ago saying that the overpass on South Hewitt Drive over Spring Valley Road is going to be shut down until it can be sanded by TxDOT. Don't stop while you're driving up a hill again and uh, make sure you stay home unless it's necessary. We keep reminding you and we keep saying that, but it's really, really important, especially tonight.